Cisco ASAV, VPN, Endpoint Amp, and Umbrella together with AnyConnect, and we're just doing some testing. We've already done videos with the deployment of each. I'm just gonna show you real quick here that you can bundle them together and we'll do some testing. All right, so you gotta make sure, and again, this is already showcased in previous videos, but you've got a profile, and then you've got an Endpoint Amp profile and an Umbrella profile, okay? Nothing to do here, because this is already created. Then we're gonna go into this group policy, remote access VPN policy. We'll edit that. I'm just gonna show you here, I've got tunneling enabled, right? Good reason why you'd want umbrella. Good reason why you'd want endpoint amp, right? Cause you're tunneling that traffic. So when you're adding the modules, this is again shown in previous videos. Um, you wanna make sure that you add the module and the profiles are attached to that group policy. All right, so let's do the installation. Quick install here. This is the longest part. So the big thing here is, is making sure that, you know, you've enabled roaming uh, clients, right, or VPN clients to address perhaps COVID-19 as an example, you have a pandemic, so you've stretched that capability out, but a lot of folks haven't actually added layers of security, right? And we know the adversary at this point knows that we've extended the workforce, our guard is down. So we wanna make sure that we're adding additional layers of security. If you're gonna split tunnel, which a lot of people are having to do because of the amount of people being connected to that head end, um, you might wanna consider uh, other layers of security, specifically things around DNS, maybe web content filtering and, and uh, security overall, as well as uh, endpoint protection where we get into advanced malware, as well as endpoint detection and response and get some visibility as well. All right, so we've connected to the VPN head end and you can see the modules are being deployed, right? They're being deployed and installed. So this will take a few moments. You can see Umbrella just turned to inactive. We're establishing the connection, the adapter's coming online. And with the AMP enabler, as you know, there's an internal server that actually allows uh, you to pull the, um, the installation from. So we can see Umbrella is online, pretty easy, right? We didn't do much other than that configuration. And now we see AMP enabler uh, get connected to endpoint AMP. So now we've got DNS layer, at least DNS layer security with web content, as well as endpoint detection and response capabilities, as well as the advanced malware protection, right? So let's just test this to make sure it is functioning and working. So if we get an orange check mark here, we know the umbrella client is working. Fantastic, that looks good. We go to internetbadguys.com, we should get a block page here. And, uh, and we did. And here we'll just go to a site, we'll just pull down, I just click on a bunch of these, right? Um, just to see whether or not we're actually blocking it. So if we just go into history here, we drop that down, you can see that we are quarantining that file. So now we've got advanced threat capabilities, DNS, web content security, uh, we've got endpoint detection response. We have host isolation uh, capabilities as well on the platform. Um, pretty cool stuff, right? Now we're adding a layer of security that you would typically see in an on-premise environment extended to our remote access users.